coming back outside to the storage shed. Let's see if it's unlocked. Yeah, and it's empty. This is a good size. You could easily fit a four-wheeler and a lawnmower in here. Or gardening tools or whatever else you keep. So this side of the house definitely needs a good pressure washing. It's got that green algae stuff all over it. Um, here's the AC unit. Let's see if I can see how old it is. Um, manufactured January of 2013. So that's a nine-year-old AC unit. So that should be good for a good while. And I'll run out to the front yard. That needs to be pressure washed too. I'll run out to the front yard and see if I can't get a good angle of the roof. Um, because those are your major expenses. If you have, if you're on a crawl space, rotten floor joists, um, HVAC, and roof. Those are the biggies that you want to... Those are the big ex major expenses when you buy, you know, a new house that you want to kind of not have to spend for a while. Um, the gate won't shut. That's just kind of off a little. Oh, because it's pulling. It's too heavy. That needs to be adjusted. So let's get out front. Everybody maintains their yards pretty well. I'm sure the HOA stays on top of that. Okay, so the roof, I mean, it's in decent shape, but it's 15 year three tab shingles. So, you know, it could last another 10 years before it needs replacing or it could last another five. Um, I'll, I'll pull the disclosures and see how old it is and that'll give us a better idea. But usually a, a 15 year roof is going to last anywhere from 12. It could last up to 18 or 20. Um, a lot of roofers say if it ain't leaking, don't, don't do nothing with it. Or if you're not missing shingles, don't do nothing with it. And a lot of people have it replaced right at 15 years, um, just to avoid any issues.